Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber. In this video, we have an unboxing of the new Moyu Ofu 7x7. So, this cube was sent to me by Moyu, the Moyu factory. Um, it was sent to me by directly from Moyu. Um, Crazy by Cuber uh, was selected to choose eight people to test this new cube, and he chose me as one of the people to test it. And so, this is, came directly from OU, like I've said. Um, I'm really excited for it. I'm not sure if this is going to be like a, um, a prototype version or the mass produced version or anything like that. I don't know what color it is. I wasn't really given much uh, information, but I am very excited for it nonetheless. Um, oh, it looks like there's something else along with it. What is this? Oh, this is a Moyu Aolong. Uh, it looks like the mini one. Um, cool. We'll just open this up. So... Yeah, this is a mini Aolong. I guess they sent this to me just extra. I certainly didn't ask for this. But now I have another mini Aolong, I guess. Well, that's cool. So, um, thank you to them for sending me that. I've already done an unboxing and review of this. So, anyway. Here is the, uh, puzzle. So this is the Ofu. This is the new Moyu 7x7. And I am super excited for it. So, let's open it up. Okay, so this appears to be a, um, a mass, the mass-produced version. Um, so that's good. I've got another one of these coming, actually, from CubeZZ. So, this looks like it's the pamphlet for... I think this is the pamphlet for the original YJ 7x7. So I don't think they've made a new pamphlet yet for this cube yet. So it comes in, a uh, wrapper. It's nice. We'll just... Oh, I guess... Alright, here we go. Oh, well, my first impression is that sticker is totally off. Um, are there any more like that? Nope. I think that one just got a little banged up. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. There we go. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks like a couple of the white stickers are pretty badly placed. I'm gonna see if I can fix that and maybe glue them down so they don't move around. I'm not sure. I'm most likely going to be replacing the stickers on this. I'm really not sure though. Um, but anyway, I've heard nothing but good things about this cube so far. Uh, it's pillowed. Currently it's my only pillow. It's 7x7. I sold my old V-Cube. And I've got my mini Sheng Shao as well. Here's my mini Sheng Shao. We'll just do a quick size comparison. Um, yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit bigger, I guess. In the hand it feels just slightly bigger. But this one is square, so... But anyway, let's just go on with first turns. Oh, wow. That is the smoothest 4x4, or 7x7, I've ever felt. You know, out of the box, it actually kind of resembles the... Kind of resembles a broken in, um... Osu, Osu 4x4. We'll just do a checkerboard just to test all the layers. I can tell it feels like it's. I know it's been pre lubricated. Definitely. Um, I'm going to be cleaning out the lube because it just feels too slow right now. My mini Shang Shao, I replaced the springs on this and it's a lot faster now. Um, so, with this one is great. I love these stickers actually. I might just keep them and fix those couple misplaced ones and leave them on. I don't know. But yeah, it, it kind of feels a bit sluggish. It's 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 but it's so buttery. It just feels a lot like an osu. Wow. Um I really love that. Let's try corner cutting. Um yeah, it's a little over a piece, I guess, a piece. So, 
yeah, this definitely needs some work. It's really slow right now, but I'm glad that this is black. I wasn't sure what color it was going to be. But anyway, this is a really nice cube. I just really love this. I can see this uh, replacing my Shang Xiao, um, because this one doesn't have very good corner cutting at all. It's 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 okay. Like you, it can do a piece, but you really have to force it. And the Shang Xiao lockups really bother me on here because they happen quite often. So I'm hoping that it won't happen on here. Let's just give this thing a scramble. Man, this is just so nice to turn. It's just so smooth. Um, and I like the size because I know that it is a little bit smaller than a V cube. I think the V-Cube is too big, but this one, I really like the QB size and everything, it just feels nice. So there we go, that is the Moyu Ofu 7x7, I'm wondering if they're going to make several versions of this like they've done with their 3x3 and 4x4 and stuff, I'm not sure though, I wonder if we could pop this open any sort of way. I don't know, I get the feeling that you're going to have to take off the center cap. Um, let's see if we can pop that off. Huh. Let's use a screwdriver. I can't seem to get that off right now. I'll have to work with that a little bit. But I'm going to do a couple solves on it uh, before I even lube it or anything like that. But that's really about it for this unboxing. There's not really too much more to say. This cube is amazing. Um, you can get it at the cubicle, you can get it at CubeZZ. But anyway, that's really about it for this unboxing of the Moyu Ofu 7x7. I'd like to give a huge thank you to Moyu and Crazy Bad Huber for sending this puzzle to me. And, um, because this is a relatively expensive puzzle, it's about $50. And, um, at least on the cubicle. From CubeZZ you can get it for about $37, I think. Um, so it's it's a little bit expensive and and uh, so I'm just very grateful to them for sending it to me. So that's really about it for this unboxing of the Moyu Ofu 7x7. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.